<laughs> yeah, it's Papa. And I'm on about day, I don't know, five, I guess, maybe, of uh, getting Papa's place in uh, the best shape that it's ever been in. <laughs> and right here behind me is the circle that I had dug out with the uh, backhoe. And then uh, I fished out uh, most of the big rocks and built a, a rock border all the way around and brought in all that topsoil that you see and uh, we'll get another uh, let's get another angle of this topsoil here so there's uh, dump after dump after dump from the wheelbarrow uh, probably between 40 and 50 wheelbarrow loads uh, of topsoil from uh, across the street from my neighbor's house and uh, I'll show you what that looks like now. So directly across the street then, is this area that uh, the former owner of this property had a garden here with stones and fencing and stakes and uh, topsoil for the garden. And so I cleaned this all out for the neighbor and then I ended up using the materials in my yard for uh, the fence and uh, for the um, uh, Circle Drive Garden, the St. John, the St. John's Wort Garden, and uh, so that's what this looks like now that it's all cleaned out. And the dirt is right there across the street. Right there. So the next project is going to be to get all that nice low green ground cover St. John's wort dug up maybe a square foot at a time, I don't know. And then uh, laid on top of this uh, topsoil. Of course, I got to smooth out the topsoil, flatten it all out. So, that's the next project. Yabba dabba doo! <laughs> well, Papa and the bandit are headed off to the back gate to meet Jason. And Jason is a young man who is delivering our new storage shed combination storage shed uh, part of it'll be a tiny house or a sleep room or whatever you want to call it but uh, we're excited about uh, getting delivery of this <laughs> so uh, here is the uh, first entrance into Papa's place and uh, Got uh, Mr. Tracker and the Millennium Falcon in here and our garden spot. And let's go over and look and see where we're going to put the new storage shed. So here's what the uh, second entrance into Papa's place looks like. And uh, right over there is where we were a moment ago. It's the other side of our garden area. And right back in here is where the storage and tiny house is going to be. Yeah, so we're excited about getting that in here. So let's go uh, meet up with Jason. <laughs> Coming in around the tree. Well, here we are with uh, Jason from All Store Buildings and Papa, and uh, we're getting the building delivered. And uh, Jason uh, says that he's just going to uh, leave the truck on the street, and he's just going to pick it up and muscle it in back here. Right? Uh, of course, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> well, Jason's got the foundation of the building all set here and uh, he's getting it all set to 
drop it back off of this trailer and slide it down into position. Wow, it's all remote controlled. Doesn't have to move the the truck at all. Just pushes it right out. He's driving right there from behind it. Pretty cool. Had to adjust the angle of the dangle there with the uh, the truck. And now he continues on with the set gently set the building down process. <laughs> Uh, uh. Ah, that was kind of interesting. Those, uh, those wheels just uh, adjust and got wheels that go sideways and adjust it sideways. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go around the front and take a look. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. How awesome is that? What a trailer this is, my word. This is just awesome. It's got that thing all lined up. He says he does about three of these in an average day. About three deliveries like this in an average day. Yeah, pretty cool. Well, here's the man that knows what he's doing. Not his first rodeo, as they say. That's quite a trailer. It just uh, adjusts and moves the building a few inches this way and a few inches that way and pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So you got the back set down and and you got the gizmo underneath that pulls it out and then you start wheeling the trailer back. The way it came. Wow. 
What a piece of equipment. I'm expecting a uh, a thud of some kind when that last edge gets dropped off there. Maybe not. No, I don't think there's going to be one. I think it's going to go down nice and soft. Little uh, last minute adjustment. Looks pretty good. What do you think? I think it looks good too. Yes, sir. I think it looks fantastic. Last minute adjusting. That block was just a little low, so he's lifting it up just a bit. Same with that one over there, I guess. Makes it nice when the uh, the sight is this nice 5 8 minus driveway gravel and you can real easily just move some things around a bit and add an inch here or there. Yes sir, e Bob. Anchors away. And there she sits. There we are! <laughs> it's down! It's settled! It's it's home! <laughs> That's awfully cool! I'm loving it! Okay. Nice job, Jason. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, you like it? Yeah, that's great. It's awesome. You know, could you could you move it just a quarter of an inch that way? Oh, sure. No <laughs> Let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, not the first time you've heard that, I'm sure. 
although the uh, number might vary, half inch, quarter inch. Okay, here's your... Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's your final. This is what just run on that part. All right, Jason did a good job. He's done this before, lots of times, about three a day, he uh, sets down. And off he goes. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it a lot. So now uh, let's go inside and see what uh, the raw bare bones storage unit looks like. <laughs> well, we got all of this nice vapor barrier here. And I've uh, got this nice big double door here. And uh, I love this transom window up here. I wish I'd have gotten one for the other side. But uh, maybe I'll put one in. Maybe I won't. But we can walk in. And we've got a nice big loft up here for some great storage. And... Got uh, lots of room, lots of room, lots of room. These nice windows with screens, I'm loving those. Oh, yeah. Love these windows. We're going to open them up and just let the uh, fresh air circulate in here. up there yes sir very nice I'm really enjoying this and only been in it for two minutes okay let's take a look out the the openings we got uh, this is uh, the driveway coming into it that's uh, pretty sweet and then over here on this side I've got the view out the window to the fireplace and where everybody gathers and has a good time and I uh, got another one over here I'm liking that these windows will let in lots of nice light and uh, like I said a minute ago we've got uh, a real nice view out the back here And then over here, we've got a real nice light source and view of the neighbors. Yeah, pretty sweet, pretty sweet. <laughs> 